Phototoxic inflammatory reaction. Phototoxic inflammatory reaction, aka margarita photodermatitis. Margarita photodermatitis, aka phototoxic inflammatory reaction, aka phytophotodermatitis. Phytophotodermatitis. What is phytophotodermatitis? Well, it's where the citrus meets the skin and then it is exposed to the ultraviolet lights of the sun and it cooks your skin. Marinates it, just like lemons and limes marinate seafood. Just like when you use your stainless steel knives to cut citrus, you've got to rinse them, wash them right away or they'll distort the metal. Just like citrus cuts through grease and is used in cleaning supplies. It stains your shirt, it stains your counters. Yeah. It can marinate and cook your skin, your beautiful skin. It can come out in the form of a rash that is blistery, itchy, uncomfortable, raised. It can come in many different forms of a rash. It can mimic eczema, psoriasis, poison ivy, heat rash. Yeah. We are enjoying our citrus through all of our activities. Our children are running around. What do we do when they have watermelon and cantaloupe and oranges and peaches in the summer? Take it outside because they drip it everywhere. Everywhere on their thighs, their hands, their arms, their face, their chest, their clothes, and they're running around and getting everything sticky. But while they're eating it outside, they're getting hit with ultraviolet rays, which is literally cooking that citrus on the surface of their skin. And when you create hyperpigmentation, you'll eventually start getting dark spots on your skin. So how do we prevent this? We wash off everywhere after eating citrus fruits, and that includes tomatoes. We wash our children off outside with a hose. We wash our counters down, our stainless steel down we become more conscientious of phytophotodermatitis before it becomes phytophotodermatitis, before it becomes a rash that is uncomfortable, unsightly, and irritating as hell, before we get a generic contact dermatitis and use everything over the counter and it doesn't work, I suggest you see a dermatologist and get it pinpointed if that is what's occurring. Look what we do to our babies. They're sitting in high chairs and they're choo, 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 choo. So as we are really enjoying our fun in the sun and getting our vitamin D and all the other fun things that we do outside, let's be conscientious to be one less who suffers from phytophotodermatitis, AKA margarita photodermatitis. <laughs> Margaritas are so much citrus, right? So it's a phototoxic reaction, inflammatory reaction when it is exposed to ultraviolet light. So rinse yourself off Rinse your own hands off if you are the cutter and supplier of the citrus so you're not imprinting on everything that you touch and every one that you touch in the sun. This goes for juice pops. This goes for smoothies. Anything you're putting citrus in or on, make sure you're rinsing it from your beautiful skin that is your largest breathing organ that houses this 
beautiful avatar, this beautiful spiritual delight of a being that you are and that our babies and children are. And we are here to do what? Foster and mentor these beautiful children of ours. All the children. Okay? Like, subscribe, and share. Leave me a comment. And I will see you on the next video. And what's it going to be for the rest of the summer? I will not contribute to phytophoto dermatitis. I will not expose myself to it and I will not expose others to it. I will make sure everything gets rinsed off properly. All right.